Hey Aries, let's do a tarot reading for you guys. Let's see what's coming up. Happy New Year and love and light and only good things to come, right? I hope you all are doing well. Hope you enjoyed the holidays. 2022, here we come. All right, let's get started. Universe guides, angels and spirits, what's going on with Aries, please? What is going on with Aries? What does Aries need to know, please? Aries, please. Thank you. One more card for Aries. There we go. All right, Aries, let's see. First card that came out is a personal issue reaches resolution, which is fantastic because I feel like something is definitely um, building, right? There's something building, the energy is building. And the only reason I'm saying that is because we have here a fiery climax approaches. So something is going to come to a head. Something is going to really show itself in order for this resolution to be reached, right? Let's find out what's going on. Spirit, what can you tell Aries, please? What does Aries need to know, please? What does Aries need to know? All right, let's see what's going on, guys. We have the strength, five of cups, the three of pentacles underneath the deck, the knight of pentacles. All right. So yeah, something is going on. Um, I feel like there's a situation where you feel like you can't, um, you can't just can't seem to either get along with this person or you can't seem to be on the same page with this person no matter what you say, no matter what you do, I feel like you've held your tongue for some time and it just isn't working. No matter what you do, it's just the stress is just building and building and building, wanting to say something, right? Hold on one sec. We have the strength card. So you could be dealing with a Leo, don't have to be. I feel like with the strength card, you've been holding back a lot. You've been keeping things to yourself, trying not to poke the bear, so to speak, right? With the five of cups, there's sadness, right? There's regret. There's, um, you know, somebody might be in that whiny, um, you know, complaining about the littlest things or not agreeing on the littlest things kind of mood, right? If this is not, you know, you, this is your person perhaps, or someone you know, someone you're close to. And with the three of pentacles, I just feel like it's, you know, you want to work together with this person. You want to be on the same page and it's just not happening. All right, let's get some more cards. Please clarify the strength card for me, Spirit. Clarify the strength card for me. This one. The Ace of Pentacles. You guys could be talking about a new beginning. You guys could be talking about money. It could be related to money. But, you know, you're looking for that, um, you know, pot at the end of the rainbow. And this person, no matter what you say or no matter what you do, it's like the pot either isn't big enough or, you know, it's not good enough. Why is the Five of Cups here, please? Five of Cups. Five of Cups, please. Alright. We have the Four of Cups. So, like I said, you make, make a suggestion or you make an offer and this person's like, no, no, no. 
it's just not good enough. No matter what you say or do, it never seems to be good enough, right? And why is the Three of Pentacles here? Oh, way too many. Way, way too many. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? <laughs> it's a fairly new deck. Three of Pentacles, please. Thank you. And we have the Four of Swords. You know, it left you in your head. It left you tired. It left you weary. Like, oh my gosh, please, right? Underneath the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. Thinking about just leaving this all behind, This, I, these ideas, this, you know, because this person just isn't giving you anything to work with here. You know, you're even thinking that you want to move up move on on your own at times and and maybe you'd be more successful on your own right whether this is a love relationship or or otherwise it's somebody's not on the same page as you somebody's not you know um just not on the same page and it's very frustrating to you so let's get some other cards and see what we can do about this Spirit, what advice do you have for Aries, please, regarding this situation? What advice, please? For Aries. Thank you. Thank you. Now we know that, you know, this is going to come to a head, right? It's going to come to a head, finally either going to speak your mind or you know, however it, it pans out, and it will be resolved. It will be, but not without, unfortunately, not without, you know, that a little bit of, uh, you know, that. So let's see what cards came out here. Weed, don't tolerate less than you deserve, right? Don't tolerate less than you deserve. And you know this, and that's why there's such an issue here with this situation because you're you've been tolerating something that you know could be better right discover look at the early dew drops before they disappear with the morning sun so i feel like this is spirit saying you know look at what you have look at what's around you and can you picture not having that there and even if it's not there, it, spirit-wise, your spirits are there. Your, your guides are there, whether you see them or not, right? Let's get some tokens. Okay. Aries, please. What does Aries need to know, please? Alrighty. First thing that pops right out at me is that uh, snapper thing for the movies. So this could be playing like a movie, like, oh my gosh, drama, whatever, right? And you're like, please, enough is enough. We have the seahorse. So the seahorse represents, do you, all right. The seahorse picks one partner and one partner for life. And, you know, the seahorse is a very special creature. Um, it's been around a very long time. And I feel like this is someone that you wanted to work with, you know, and, and end with, you know what I mean? Whether this is a relationship, whether it's a business, doesn't matter. This is someone who you saw long term with. I feel like it's been quite a road that you guys have traveled. You know, it takes a long time for pine trees to grow. And I just feel like this is someone that you've, you know, been with for some time or, um, you know, have bonded with for some time. Hold on a sec.
And here's the good old horse. Here's the horse wanting to move forward with this person, right? And here's the piano. So whether you guys are in the music industry, you don't have to be, but music could play a major part in your life. And spirit is saying, make sure you use music to your advantage. Use music to your advantage. All right, let me get the book of answers for you guys. I haven't pulled this out in a while, probably because of a speck of dust or two. All right, here's the book of answers. Spirit, please let Aries know what they need to know. Aries, please. Right here. Okay. That's what the book is saying. It's worth the trouble. It's worth the trouble. So whether you open your mouth and say something right now to this person or you hold back the book is saying it's worth the trouble so this is definitely somebody you would want to keep in your life right aries there you go there's your reading happy new year to every single one of you i appreciate and love every single one of you and i wish you nothing but happiness and success and great health in 2022. Take care for now. Bye.